The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Fanatics of Ocean City, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. I'm Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Feels like we're in the home stretch of the 2016 summer. Already the first week in August is in the books. It's funny, you sometimes take July for granted, but then August hits and we got to take care of the kids. We haven't done everything that we wanted to do before school takes place. But don't worry, we've got plenty of time left in the summer. And as my friend Nick Cicero over at Tsunami Beats tells me, it's also the best time. It reminds me. You know, we've got the fresh Jersey tomatoes, you've got the fresh romaine lettuce and the Portuguese rolls, your fresh fluke fillets, flounder, of course, if you're using the Formica Italian bread, and sweet Jersey corn, best of the season, as Dad always said. Of course, the primary menu ticket on everybody's list this month is typically that inshore special, our summer flounder, and the doormat procession continues, especially up on the rare. And first of all, we had impressive doormats this week. Bob Midday checked into the tackle box with a 10 and a half pounder that he caught in the terminal channel. He was using peanut bunker. We also got a report from Alan Levy, 11 and a half pounds. That was caught at Sandy Hook Reef and he was using gulp earlier this week. And going into the weekend, Juliana Bongiorni, she had a 10 pounder while fishing on the Raritan with Johnny Contello. All these big fish too have these similar uh, similar tactics or similar baits in mind. Some of those bigger baits. I, I mentioned the gulp. I'm finding people are starting to find more success with pink gulp. Maybe that's indicative of more squid around. Of course, you got the peanut bunker. And now we've got plenty of snapper blues in the back too. So if you can put some uh, live snapper down as well, that's always a great item for those doormats. Try those big baits in the deep water and hit the wreck sites this week if you're looking for a monster. Especially if you're in one of the big tournaments this weekend. We've got the Shillelagh, the friendly friends of the Shillelagh. They're holding their tournament out of Belmar this week. Captain's meeting is Friday at 6.30 at 815 16th Avenue in Belmar. You've also got the Saltwater Anglers of Bergen County. They're having their tournament on Saturday as well. They've got three different way stations and places you can check in to enter the tournament. You've got Twin Lights Marina, Fisherman's Den, and Clark's Landing in Point Pleasant. Of course, we've got the Staten Island Tuna Club. They're having their Jim Ryan tournament this weekend as well. Check in with the Staten Island Tuna Club, but you can also pick up this week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine. We've got all the tournaments run down there this week and also in the weeks ahead. Now, in tight to some of these rock piles as well, we're finding more about the trigger fish and sheep's head. Captain Steve Pearl of Real Fantasy Charters runs out of here in Barnegat. He's been catching trigger fish, a nice thing to spice into your catch. And as well, some sheep's head along these rock piles as well. People dropping down crabs and also clam baits as well. Meanwhile, we still have good action on the weak fish. Uh, and it's funny because not a lot of people are targeting weak fish. There's only a one fish bag limit, but uh, a lot of it is typically bycatch. Like Betty Lloyd here, she was drifting behind Brigantine uh, using gulp, caught a four pound, nine ounce weak fish taped out at 22 and a quarter inches over at Riptide Bait and Tackle. I had a couple of weak fish on the fluke drip just last week too in Little Egg. One thing that uh, I got from Dave from Absecon Bay this week, he says, move around, use those machines, use those electronics. If you see the bait, follow those piles of bait because he's saying a lot of those fluke are swimming along as well. If you head a little farther out, and I'm not saying that far out, uh, George and Laura Gilbert were out fishing between 12 and 18 miles this past week and hooked up with this really nice mahi. Uh, George tells me that they were uh, dragging some Clark spoons and also some ballyhoo. And uh, they had some good action with the Bonita as well as this nice dolphin that Laura's holding up here. Don't forget, you fishermen subscribers, dolphin is the fish of the month in our Dreamboat contest. And a 19 pounder is tops on the board right now. It's tops for August. So when you guys are heading offshore, sometimes you don't think about it. Bring that big dolphin in to one of those certified way stations in the Fisherman Dreamboat lineup, and you could score pretty big this month. Our weather outlook uh, throughout the rest of the weekend all the way through Sunday, 30% uh, chance of thunderstorms, so you want to keep your eye out on the weather, uh, on the skies to your west. Um, they say partly cloudy, but you know if it's partly cloudy, it's got to be partly sunny as well. Offshore this week has been the best leading up to the weekend, the best conditions, but as we get from Friday through Sunday, it looks like three to fives offshore southwest winds, 10 to 20 knots, so choose your windows appropriately. Uh, we also find out this week as we are compiling our reports that the white marlin bite is what we found out to be epic 
in the central and southern canyons and it's just perfect for that white marlin open that's being held out of Ocean City, Maryland right now. In fact, the first qualifying marlin, the first qualifying white marlin, 76 and a half pounds, that one was still on the board uh, as of midweek. That could be worth $2.4 million. Yeah, that's, a, that's a heck of a fish. Look, if you're looking for a break from the salt and the warmth, uh, uh, you could head up state into New York, get up on Lake Ontario. It's a little bit cooler. It's always a great time to get away with the family. My friend Captain Dave Hubner of Fish Lure Charters has put in the boots to uh, some of those silver fish. He's been doing very well on the salmon, uh, the steelhead, and also quite a few trout as well. He runs Fish Lure Charters out of Rochester, New York. Take a look at that. Finally, I've got to offer thanks to the Ann Clark Foundation and the Manasquan River Marlin and Tuna Club. Brand new reef deployment this week as a new vessel was sunk on the Axel Carlson Reef. I've got the exact numbers for you guys who want to sock them into the machine. But in order to get that, you're going to have to go over and log in to thefisherman.com. We've got the full story there. Pray for more sun this week, folks, and I will see you again here next week at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Fanatics of Ocean City, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.